and away they go. The Islander at the front, Bedford Forest at the back as they all break away then towards the first of the 18 fences. And the Highlander comes to the first of them just in front of See You in Court as they jump it. Colorado Kid over right handed a bit in third and very right handed was Stonefield in fourth who nearly seemed to barge into one or two of them as they swing around the bend for the first time. So right away at this far end of the course it's the Highlander and See You in Court who've gone on and uh, gone on by five or six lengths already from Colorado Kid. Agent from Chaos closes up. And the owner rider Kelly Morgan and jumps the second and third. Then Colorado Kid is in fourth place. Oh, all over that one safely. Racing in five then with Sporting Friendship, who's just hidden for a minute by Stonefield. Hasn't jumped to the, well, either the, the first two fences particularly well. And uh, Bedford Forest could again be held up at the back by Will Milburn. They got quite a good clip here as they come down towards the third. And this place set by the Highlander, so Jacqueline Carroll out to try and make all here. Stable already successful in the big race, of course, with one Connemara. So, it's the Highlander who leads on then from CU in court in second. Agent for Chaos up to third and travelling pretty smoothly. Jumps out of right, Colorado Kid is in fourth place. And then Sporting Friendship in the Bannister Colours. I just writing a busy afternoon for Will Easterby. Slightly mixed one so far. And then we have uh, Bedford Forest and Stonefield. It's now last. He did at least jump that fence rather better than some of the earlier efforts. So they come up then towards the next. This is fence number five. And the Highlander, another good jump. And goes on pretty well here. So the Highlander leads them left-handed downhill. This sort of ground is a bit running a bit soft, it looks like, than anything else. And uh, he's going at a good pace, the Highlander. See you in court in second. Agent for Chaos going out a bit wider, trying to find the better ground. I guess Kelly Morgan in third. Over in fourth was Colorado Kid in five, Sporting Friendship, Bedford Forest six, and Stonefield relegated to last. As they come to the ditch, fence number seven on the first circuit. Agent for Chaos, bad blunder. Very good set there by Kelly Morgan. He didn't get very high at all. So they race on then towards the next fence, coming up towards uh, fence number eight. And the Highlander continues to lead. Comes in to jump it. Just up on See You in Court, who switched over to the inside. Agent for Chaos is much better at that. Stonefield again jumped rather out to the right and is losing ground at each fence. So they swing around left-handed up right away at the bottom end of the track with the Highlander still in front by a couple then from Searing Court in second, Agent for Chaos third, Sporting Friendship getting very competitive in fourth as Colorado Kid is five and Bedford Forest is also creeping up on the outside and out jump Colorado Kid there and Stonefield is the one getting detached. So they swing around to fence 10 of the 18 that they jump in this uh, Connolly's Red Mills Precision Nutrition Intermediate Race. The Highlander so far has led them all the way and continues to be in front. But they can imagine they from Agent for Chaos up on the outside and see you in court on the inside. And they're all in fact ganging up a bit behind the Highlander. But the former ladies champion, Jacqueline Coward, kicks on again in front. Now Agent for Chaos comes up to try and challenge, goes ahead of CU in court it would look like as they come down to what will be the last next time around, fence number 11 this time. The Highlander leads over it from in second, Agent for Chaos, third, CU in court, fourth, Sporting Friendship, five, Colorado Kid, six, Bedford Forest, and Stonefield has closed back to them a little bit as they swing round away from the finishing shoot once again to come to jump the next. So this is uh, fence number 12 coming up. And the Highlander is still to be headed. Comes in and jumps it pretty well. From Agent for Chaos, see you in court. Being ridden along pretty vigorously, Colorado Kid on the inside. Keeps the inside though, keeps fourth place. Going out a little bit wider there, sporting for friendship and therefore Bedford Forest had to go very wide. And back marker is still Stonefield. On they come then down towards the next, defence number 13. The Highlander won but nearly joined by Agent for Chaos, but he needs to jump the ditch better than he did last time. 
Stonefield is still going, but Colorado Kid isn't. He's pulled up. So they're going towards the open ditch, and the Highlander, good leap there, was really Spring Hill at it. And uh, Jackie Curran going on pretty well, and now we're sporting friendships coming under pressure. And it is the Highlander who's stretching all of these, but Bedford Forest could be the bigger danger. He's gone up into second. Agent for Chaos, though, so has every chance. As a little bit wider in third place and jumps it in second. The Highlander, Agent for Chaos, Bedford Forest. That was the order over that fence. Then the hard ridden sporting friendship and then CU in court is beginning to struggle. Stonefield jumped the ditch but was pulled up before the next. And away they go, right away at the far end. CU in court is now pulling up. And suddenly there are just four left in it and that might shortly be three. And it's the Highlander who stretched all of these and leads on again from Agent for Chaos and uh, Kelly Morgan's beginning to push away now on the second place horse as the Highlander stretches the lead to about four lengths. Agent for Chaos though is responding to his owner rider's urgings. Bedford Forest back in third, sporting friendship pulled up after jumping three out. So just three left with two fences left to jump in this Connolly's Red Bulls intermediate race and at it, it was the Highlander who led from Agent for Chaos, and then Bedford Forest in third, but he now looks tired. The only one who doesn't look tired really is the Highlander, although his he's, uh, stride is shortening a bit between the last two, but Agent for Chaos not really closing that gap, nor Bedford Forest coming towards the last. The Highlander has really stretched all of these and gets over the last with a clear lead. Agent for Chaos blunders again at it, but uh, Kelly Morgan sacks the mistake once more. Bedford Forest is very tired and just climbs over in third. And it's just going to be those three. The Highlander has put them all to the sword and wins it easily, getting lots of uh, pats from his rider. And really trots up in the end from Agent for Chaos, who has good form down south. And in third was Bedford Forest.